Greetings traders out there in trader land. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade and this is the weekend edition. Get to Sunday, September 1st, 2013. The S&P 500, along with the Dow, ends the worst month since, get this, May 2012. Ending the week on Friday, the S&P down about a third of a percent. Dow down 0.2 percent. NASDAQ off by 0.8 percent. Small caps with the Russell 2000 down 1.6 percent. Banks off by 1.4 percent. Banks, NASDAQ, and the Russells all leading the charge to the downside. VIX up just more than 1% confirming Friday's drop. And we are now over, get this, 17. It's been a while since we've been there. Gold off by a full percent. Silver off by 1.74%. And we have crude oil down by a quarter of a percent with the US dollar um, ticking higher yet again. And transportation index down quite, I mean, quite a bit more than what we're seeing in the Dow. That was down 0.2%, but we're down five times that plus for transportation index, showing some relative undercurrent weakness. Utilities up a mere fraction. That's a defensive sector, which so that doesn't surprise us. Take a look here at the S&P daily. Uh, I want to draw another line here. This line will be drawn. Going to do something like this. Bring in. Tighten this up on the fly. We have a falling wedge, and I was able to see it, but I wanted to make sure everybody else could see it. That's why I'm dropping these lines in. But look at these two lines. Here's your falling wedge, which is a bullish formation. If I go to the MACD here, you'll also see, and we talked about this in Thursday's video, we have a bullish divergence. Bullish back to divergence. So we do have a chance of this thing rallying. Okay, so I want to be very clear here. Even though we dropped below this major trend line, this big blue one. That spells significant trouble. Right now, on the shorter time frame, the daily time frame, we could break out of this falling wedge, and it could get really bullish and fast. So keep your eyes on this. Namely, if we could get over, say, 1646, and I, I would even say we really need to get over 1650 and some change. If we could get over 1650 and some change, um, that's going to be pretty bullish for the markets. Now, on the weekly chart, the problem here is this. Support, support, support. We have now broken support. It is now confirmed going into this three-day weekend. The markets are broken. So even though we might rally back going into next week, I could see us coming up here, but hitting our head and then dropping. So if we start to drop on a weekly chart, that's going to spell disaster. You can see the MACD bearish divergence here. So I foresee a rally going into next week at the beginning, but after that, the next couple months being brutal. So let's take a look at the monthly chart. The monthly chart, you can see we've been marching higher, 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 roughly 13 months in a row going higher. And that is unprecedented. What we should see is a correction at some point, and I think that correction could happen any moment now. We're finding resistance at 1700. Now we're finding some weakness. Closing out the month, gang, what we have is called a, a dark cloud cover. We did get a close below this halfway mark. A huge opportunity for the markets now to start crashing down, but we have a lot of support here, about 1583, 1585 um, area, so we'll be certainly watching that. Now here's the NASDAQ. Monthly chart, we just have a bearish thrusting pattern. The weekly chart, it's a high base showing some weakness, but we're still, this is bullish. The week, or the daily chart rather, for the Bring this line here. I'm actually going to copy that and drop that here. Maybe oh, let's go down there. Kind of have a bull flag type formation, but if we drop down below the 50 day moving average, that's going to be really problematic for the market. So that's certainly something we're going to be watching for. The banks are just breaking down horribly. So the market's only as strong as the banks there to support it. So the, this is telling us the markets are in a lot of trouble. We got shoulder, head, and shoulder, shoulder, head, and shoulder 
trend reversal pattern and just breaking down the weekly chart boom to the downside the monthly dark cloud cover it's looking grim 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 out there gold monthly you can see this nice little pop that is a, what's called a bear pullback the weekly chart looking nice has had a nice little rally but we are coming into some resistance and we could certainly see it drop the daily is giving us a bull pullback so there could be an opportunity for a short term buy here really soon so be looking forward to buying some precious metals going into next week on any sort of bounce silver is looking beautiful too it's pulled back to a support level the EMAs nice look the problem is we have a bearish divergence on the MACD so this thing could start falling apart on the daily the weekly it's a bear pullback this thing could get nasty and fast and taking a look here at Google Google was off a full percent on Friday this is a weekly chart dropping let me show you Friday we, we're dropping it's in a falling wedge and it's continuing down but here's our pullback it's dropping from a rising wedge and it has broke down here and if you look at a monthly chart here's the problem with the monthly rising wedge we close below it Google's in significant trouble Apple monthly chart we're in an up leg uh, the weekly is starting to pull back here next couple weeks could be bearish and we broke some support now finding support the rising 20 day but I don't think that's going to hold Apple is now below the zero line on the MACD chart and uh, one thing I'm going to end with this it's interesting uh, I don't know why we got the big spike here uh, I'm thankful for it but I want to talk to you guys about a uh, we have if you a couple things fill out this form you'll get some free lessons every two days you'll get a video and they're very educational but it pales in comparison this is will teach you about trading but the one that you really want down here found under premium tools is called the 201 trading videos this will teach you how to trade six and a half hours it is of uh, tips and tricks it is the real deal it is a top-notch curriculum package for traders but what's interesting we just had a, a big spike of people coming in and buying these so somebody out there has recommended us and I sincerely appreciate that if it was you who's doing that please send me an email at desertrocktrade.com like to thank you but we're getting rave rave reviews on this people are trade are are changing their trading lives through this program it's all online you'll get it immediately so very helpful so hope that helps you guys take care share us with a friend uh, there's a lot of good information I shared with you guys here and um, here's one on our bull list uh, I'll give you a freebie we do a, a stock picks V newsletter each week boom big pop here on MGA M that's and um, and then we have a bear list those that are very very weak and I'll show you one here this is on our bear list for shorting and this is BG BJRI and it has had a significant drop here this it dropped about four percent on Friday alone so anyway if you want our stock picks uh, stock picks V newsletter but what you really want to do is learn to trade know how to trade these and that's what the 201s will do for you. So take care, safe trading, and wish you all the very best on this long Labor Day.